Hey, this is Connor with Conquest HP, and this video is about using struggles as a springboard into future action. Um, struggle is going to be part of any kind of fitness pursuit or dietary pursuit, weight loss, gaining muscle, whatever you're going for. Struggle is going to happen at some point, um, even with the best plans, even with excellent discipline and good habits, um, the natural ebb and flow of your body and your mind and when life and work stress and all those things are going to conspire at some point it's going to be a little harder than it has been in the past um, so when that happens a lot of the time it ends up breaking the diet or breaking the the workout program you see that struggle and you immediately conclude well something must be wrong uh, maybe i'm not doing what i'm supposed to be doing maybe um you know, maybe I can't do it. Maybe, maybe I was never meant to lose that weight or get that strong or whatever it might be. And that's where that pursuit is going to break. Um, but you can also use it the other way. I like to use it because this is just like a programming principle that I would use for building an actual uh, periodized program, a powerlifting program, something like that. It's a principle that I stole from that. Um, when I build a program long term. I often plan in either like load resets or deload weeks, that kind of thing, where I'm intentionally asking the client or in my own training to pull it back, pull back the efforts, give your body an extra chance to recover and reset those efforts before you, you start, um, start the pursuit again. So this could be a week, it could be a few days, whatever it might be, depending on the program. Um, but when you start to struggle, this is the best time for you to pull back your efforts simplify everything that you are doing and look at what you can control. So when you get caught in this moment, the temptation will be to think, I wanted to lose 20 pounds by now. I've only lost 10. That's not what I wanted. Boo hoo. I'm upset about this. And you will be upset about it because you haven't met your own expectations, whether or not they were realistic. I totally get that. But you can't, by thinking about it, lose those extra 10 pounds overnight. It's not going to happen. All you can do is control what you can control. And that's the food that you're putting in your mouth, the amount of sleep you're getting, your stress management, your, your ability to get to the gym the next day and work hard. Those are factors within your control. And when things start to spiral, when you start to struggle a little bit, you will be tempted to think about the things that you can't control. Um, like having to go to work every day. You probably can't control that. Maybe maybe you can, maybe you just won the lottery, you don't have to go to work anymore. But for most of us, we're going to have to continue working. So I can't be upset about work getting in the way of my diet or work getting in the way of me getting to the gym. All I can do is work the rest of my schedule to figure out a way to achieve my goal with that, with that component, uh, with that obstacle in the way. And that's really what it is, it's an obstacle. So. When things get tough and when you start to struggle, pull back your efforts, take a step back, um, take that objective view, figure out what you can control, what you can improve within the things that you can control, and then set about, um, set about acting on those things, set about controlling them better, sharpening those tools, and then continuing that pursuit. Don't get lost in, in that place where there's no perspective, where you're just thinking about what you want but don't have. There's nothing for you to act on there. Pull it back to something you can act on, you can control and realize that this struggle might be the best thing that ever happened to you because it's the thing that asks you to continue improving. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this video if you're looking for coaching or other nutrition training uh, advice and information, check out conquesthp.com and I will talk to you guys again soon.